guys, welcome to Litgan. Let's discuss some MCQs on modern writers based on Routledge history. The first question is, which poem of eights has a refrain, a terrible beauty is born? If you remember, this has been a PYQ and has directly been asked from this book, The Routledge History of English Literature, which is why I have started this series. Your options are A. Sailing to Byzantium, B. Eastern 1916, C. The Lake Isle of Innisfree or D. The Second Coming. The answer is B. Easter 1916. A poem by W.B. Yeats, it describes the poet's torn emotions regarding the events of the Easter Rising staged in Ireland against British rule on Easter Monday, April 24, 1916. The uprising was unsuccessful and most of the Irish Republican leaders involved were executed for treason. Moving on. The symbolist movement in poetry that brought home to British poets the significance of French experimental symbolists like Rimbaud, Verlaine, Laforge, and Mallarmé. It is a work by your options are A. W. B. Yeats, B. Ezra Pound, C. Charles Baudelaire, or D. Arthur Simons. The answer is D. Arthur Simons. It brought home to British poets the significance of French experimental symbolists. And with them, literature becomes itself a kind of religion with all the duties and responsibilities of the sacred ritual. Aids himself quickly drew the lesson that we must purify poetry, which was to continue through movements like imagism and vorticism. After the hostile reception of which of his novels, Hardy turned to poetry and poetic drama until his death in 1928. A. Tess of Doverweils the Mayor of Casterbridge, Jude the Obscure or D. The Well Beloved? The answer is C. Jude the Obscure. It is Hardy's last completed novel. The protagonist Jude Foley is a working class young man. He is a stonemason who dreams of becoming a scholar. The other main character is his cousin Sue Bridehead who is also his central love interest. The novel is concerned in particular with issues of class, education, religion, morality and marriage. Moving on, identify the poem. The lens sharp features seemed to be the century's corpse outland. Your options are A. The Darkling Thrush, B. Ah, are you digging my grave? C. After a journey or D. During wind and rain. The answer is A. The Darkling Thrush, one of the most important poems of Hardy. It was originally titled by the Century's Deathbed. It was first published on 29th December 1900 in the graphic. Do you remember? The voice of a thrush is heard upon the growing gloom. The beauty of the bird's song does not dispel the dark vista. Unlike Keats's ode to a nightingale or Shelley's to a skylark, the poet in this poem sees no cause for song and cannot accept the hope or sense of unchangingness over time that the bird song might express. The poem ends in suspension, caught between hope and pessimism. Moving on, Death Imagist, the first anthology of the Imagist poets was edited by whom? W. B. Yeats, Ezra Pound, T. S. Eliot or Wilfred Owen? The answer is B. Ezra Pound. Who said for Norman Cameron that a poem by Cameron needs no more than one image? A. W. B. Yeats, B. T. S. Eliot, C. Dylan Thomas or D. Robert Graves? The answer is C. Dylan Thomas. Identify the poem and the poet. Because I liked you better than suits a man to say, it irked you and he promised to throw the thought away. Your options are Thomas Hardy's After a Journey, Charlotte Muse, The Farmer's Bride, D. H. Lawrence's The Ship of Death or A. E. Houseman's The Shropshire Lead. The answer is D. Houseman's A Shropshire Lead. It is a collection of 63 poems by the English poet Alfred Edward Horseman, published in 1896. Dulce et Decorum Est is a poem by Wilfred Owen. The same Latin line is used in which of Ezra Pounds' poem? A. Hugh Selwyn Moberly, B. An Station of the Metro, C. Provincia Deserta, or D. The Return? The answer is C. Provincia Deserta. Norman Cameron's poetry collected poems that came in the year 1957 has an introduction by A. W. B. Yeats, B. Robert Graves, C. D. H. Lawrence or D. Rupert Brooke. The answer is B. Robert Graves. A short survey of surrealism is a work by A. David Gascoigne, B. Ezra Pound, C. Rupert Brooke or D. T. S. Eliot. The answer is A. David Gascoigne. 
identify the poem Christmas Eve and 12 of the clock now they are all on their knees an elder say, said as we sat in a flock by the embers in a hearth side east we pictured the meek mild creatures where they dwelt in their strawy pen nor did it occur to one of us there to doubt they were kneeling then your options are a during wind and rain b satires of circumstances c the oxen or d the darkling thrush the answer is c the oxen the dynast is a verse drama written by a d h lawrence b t s eliot c harold pinter or d thomas hardy the answer is d thomas hardy identify the poem by hardy they are bleakly breakfasting all men and maidens yeah under the summer tree with a glimpse of the bay while pet fowl come to the knee ah no the ears oh and the rotten rose is ripped from the wall your options are a the darkling thrush the poems of the past and the present see neutral tones or d during wind and rain the answer is d during wind and rain hardy wrote during the wind and rain in 1917 five years after his wife emma hardy's death in 1912 like lots of his poetry after her death thomas hardy's poem reminisces emma's life in this poem hardy focuses on her family and the inevitability of death moving on roman balcony is the first volume of poetry by which surrealist poet a david gascoigne b henry moore c herbert reed or d paul nash the answer is a david gascoigne following are some lines from the poem the soldier if i should die think only this of me that there's some corner of a foreign field that is forever england identify the poet a wilfred owen b sigfred sassoon c rupert brooke or d ivor gurney all these are war poets do remember their names the answer is c rupert brooke with this we come to the end of this video you can leave your doubts in the comment section below till then happy learning